Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So this here may look like a few weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And you know, once again, another day of sideways price action. So when you combine that with Friday, two days in a row of just straight up going sideways, that may not seem like, what's your point? Why do you, why do you say two days in a row? Well, if you have any context of this chart, Two days of just simply going sideways is actually something that's kind of rare. I mean, usually the company and you know has been dumping shares, dumping shares at every moment they got. But that I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think they probably dumped any today. If they did, it was very, very minimal. And you and I say that for two reasons: one, because yeah, the price just went sideways today. But the other reason was you look down here at volume, and I mean, it was uh, almost non-existent today. So what's my point in all this? My point is it's becoming more and more logical that maybe the price is getting ready for a bounce. Now, the, the million dollar question, of course, of if it does bounce, is the company or insiders or whoever gonna, just gonna crush it back down or are they actually gonna let it breathe and try to you know, garner some, mo some you know, momentum? I mean, you would think that they were smart. They'd let it get some mo momentum, potentially get you know, up above 10 cents and then crush it back down, but who knows? I mean, uh, you know, management, you gotta kind of, question a bunch of things with their choices. But regardless, from just strictly a trading perspective, with the volume drop off and it's still going sideways, it's becoming more and more logical to say, hey, maybe this is some sort of bottom. Now, the good news is volume dropped off because that implies maybe the company is, is, is done or is chilling out. The bad news is, well, if there is gonna be any sort of bounce, it's gonna need some sort of volume. So it's kind of a catch-22 in some senses where it, you know the price is gonna have a hard time bouncing if you know there, there's not any volume there to actually push the price upwards, uh, but you know even with a modest uh, increase in volume, by no means am I saying it's got to have the amount of volume that it had a couple weeks ago. But you know some sort of decent increase in volume, uh, you know could potentially get this thing bouncing. So uh, I think this uh, the chart's looking pretty solid. I think that there's some true potential here uh, with the sideways price action and you know drop off in volume. Uh, but as always, this is why risk management is so in, in, important because. Uh, you know, this could mean absolutely nothing. And who knows, maybe the selling picks back up tomorrow. And that's why you need to, you know, like I said, have risk management at the forefront of any sort of trading strategy. But we'll see what happens with it. The week is young, still four days left. So let's see how it all plays out. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.